Hey, welcome back to my channel. Uh, hope all is well. Today, I kind of just wanted to like discuss content creation and discuss a couple of things here or there that I noticed about it. And um, I guess where I'm going moving forward with it. Um, it's been kind of hard to find um, where I can fit in really or where I fit in with content creation and as much as I would like to move to um, this particular city I'm not gonna name it but as much as I would love to move to this particular city and just live out my dream and content create and have so much to show and go around town and People would love that video. Uh, well, not that video, but like a whole series of videos there and me being there. And I feel like I would like the people and all of that. So as much as I wish I could do that, it's like I can't. Um, a lot of the times I don't really feel like putting my face on the screen as much anymore. Because it's just a lot that goes into setting up things and getting things ready and... Um, I'm trying to allow myself to work on one thing at a time, maybe two, and um, YouTube just isn't it. Um, I told myself by a certain deadline, if I wasn't seeing what I wanted to see with my account, then I was just gonna start branching out and doing something different. So um, this is probably gonna be on a premiere. So it's going to be like a live, but not, and you can talk or something and I'll still be there or here. <laughs> yeah, I'll still be here. Um, but yeah, let's talk content creation for a second. So there's a couple of things that I'm seeing. Um, with, with content creation. And I'm going to just be candid. This is, this is a small, short talk. It's not going to be too long. Hopefully under 20 minutes. Um, I just kind of want to feel people out in the content space and what they see. Um, if you are a person of color, tell me how do, how do you feel about navigating spaces and um are you a creator that's involved with hair companies and um are you choosing to walk away from certain niches and etc um in general if you're a content creator do you feel like certain niches are more worth it more profitable um do you feel like you need a niche do you feel like you don't um I absolutely feel like you should stay as open as you can. Um, I hate to say it like this. I'm going to drop some nuggets here or there. But I do notice that the people in certain well traveled like places that are involve a lot of tourists and travel, they're going to get a bunch of views just by tagging. If you have money to spend on advanced tech and things over... $200, $500, you're going to get views on it. It might not show up. Um, I would strategically calculate, you know, is this product selling right now? Is it a seasonal product? It's, you could go all into that. Um, there's a lot of videos on YouTube that talk about that. So, I mean... If you want to go into that type of content, you know, you're going to get a lot of clicks. It might not start up, you, you, you know, unless it's like a trending product, it might not, you know, sell as fast. But if you have an affiliation link to it and people click on that link, your revenue is going to be so much more from them clicking on that link because the product itself is so expensive. Um... The clothes you wear are so expensive. 
you know you're gonna get a lot of a lot of clicks and views from that um one thing that i do not like um about content creation like i said it, it's a lot of setup just to get on camera and click and and you know i have all these fantastic ideas but i don't want to say it's like a laziness it's just a like it's it's so much involved just to get on click the camera like and it kind of drives me away from not doing it at times and so i've just been having a motivation thing and also trying to single completing two things at a time and then come back to youtube and um yeah let's talk about other platforms for a second we all probably use tiktok at this point and i love tiktok more than i can't stand it but i've noticed that tiktok doesn't really push my newest and latest stuff as much as they push things that aggravate people in the comments um yeah so a lot of my other videos i've noticed also that if i am like selling something or reviewing something they will push that video and um again content creators other content creators um let me know how you feel about uh th them authorizing using your video as i guess uh ads and it's gonna say sponsored underneath it and um they want to do that with my content um with the things that i'm reviewing on tiktok shop and i feel kind of uneasy about that because based on how many people are going to view that it's not going to have the link for, for them to click on it and give me commission anymore so that's just them using my content um as long as they want to them in the brand and i don't i don't really like that girl like um i'm not good with like working with brands yet and all that stuff i wish i had a manager to do all of that because somebody let me know like what it's called when a brand you put it in the contract like if you're going to use my uh, video as an ad like this hair video whatever i should be getting a, a a small amount of you know money like royalties so to speak from that every time you use my 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 stuff my image my whatever um that's how you're supposed to communicate that with these companies but i just didn't authorize it i didn't authorize tiktok to use my stuff as sponsored ads and, and i just think that that's so unfair to the creator like it would help me get views on that video because they're trying to push people to buy things which i also don't like so i just completely just said nope no you're not going to use my stuff <laughs> I'm not going to allow that. Um, yeah. I know people will do anything for money. But I'm just not. No. Like. I'm not I'm not doing that. Um, so yeah. Um, I've been on TikTok. A little bit more. And I've made a scheduled routine with TikTok. Um, there's things that I'm going to miss about it. There's things that I'm not going to miss about it. But let's talk about the major thing that kicked off this discussion. Uh, I cannot seem to draw engagement. And this, it very much annoys me because I see certain people who do the bare bear 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 as minimum 24 7 haven't changed anything about their content and they get all of these comments and all of these these 
these reviews like just they get so much admiration and um I'm gonna be a little bit vulnerable here you guys um I mean I'm thinking about making a Patreon and sharing like exact stories about things but I don't think I'm gonna do that um on here because if I'm gonna tell my stories and, and, and things that are kind of like more vulnerable um I prefer it be interpersonal and have no trolls and and you know we can have a safe space to talk about how we feel about things and no censorship either um like it is on YouTube um I have this strong annoyance with engagement and trying to get people to engage and it sucks that on certain platforms you realize that people don't have brain cells that have the capacity to uh, withstand at least like three seconds it used to be seven seven plus or minus seconds I think when it came to marketing or is it eight but now it's like the attention span of the the viewer these days is I would say like three plus or minus seconds um how I know this is because on TikTok um they actually read me to filth for one of the uh reviews that I did for a product and it was like oh you know just uh, maybe do clips that in three seconds like change it every three seconds and I'm like oh my god like people's attention is really this weak and I know some people are going to click off of this video within less than 30 seconds like it's annoying and it's annoying trying to find my voice here as well I get more I notice I get more comments here um and, and I, I don't mind comments like I love comments but I just noticed that like I, it makes me feel like it's a personal thing and I've experienced this majority of my life and I don't know why and if you're like me and you've experienced this too pl please let me know like you just you may be entertaining you may be informative you may be smart you may be something really uh like a positive thing okay but for whatever reason people refuse to tell you <laughs> people refuse to um acknowledge you people refuse to um they, except for give you grace like they they you know they don't mind tearing you down every now and again but when it comes to like celebrate you um g give you your flowers <laughs> shit while you're alive you know um be admirable compliment you um in engage with you whether it's in real life or on the screen it seems like people just don't want to give you any props any type of inkling that you're doing anything right but then you'll go and see people like copy the same thing that you're doing and it's like i feel like oh my god if you're aries happy birthday aries season uh aries gang happy birthday um if you're aries you know exactly what i'm talking about like you'll say something or predict something and nobody like listens to you like they, they want to act like you pretend like you're right or something and you'll say something and say we should fix it we should do it this way before you know this breaks down or something and everybody will act like they didn't hear you say nothing then months later um the i was just gonna say the I don't know, the table breaks down and then someone's like hmm 
I have idea. Same shit you said months ago. And they're like, oh, I have idea. This is what we did or this is what we should have did. Oh my goodness. If we could have avoided all this. That's what you're thinking. But people get mad at Aries. And because we get agitated when we're really fed up with like a lot of y'all's BS. Because, you know, it's not that we want to be right. It's that y'all never really give us our flowers. You'll take the influence as your own idea and your own beliefs but you won't ever let us like be the lead position it's like it's it's a hater type of like thing with that i, I don't know what that is but it, it everybody else will like copy us and pretend like bitch you ain't the blueprint <laughs> you not you not even the fart <laughs> and it's it's, it's so challenging and, and I kind of wonder why you know sometimes I just be like man you know the content the things it doesn't land it's not as good but I swear I see certain people get away with doing nothing and I'm just like so it's really it has nothing to do about all these these things and attachments that I'm trying to put to it like oh do I live here oh do I drive this or oh do I do I um have this type of occupation am I like a super successful content creator this many followers this many collaborations and, and, and this quality camera sound it could be anything sound is something that I'm still working on um I'm speaking into like a mic thing right now I'll tag it. I think it was pretty good. It's pretty clear. It blocks out a lot of noise. Um, but I just I find it like very hard to connect with people, um, and keep things that need to be private in my life. Like I'm all for authenticity and being vulnerable, but it's just I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna talk about those things until I feel like it. So like today me sharing how I feel about engagement and noticing that I get no freaking engagement you guys like none nothing I'll get a lot of people that watch even people that know me from back in the day or from from um another school or something that I went to they will watch and not say anything not initiate not I've always had to be the initiator a lot of the times with people and like in my 20s I've just kind of like said I'm done with that because when I feel like nobody wants to really be there for me or give me the same reciprocation it really hurts it hurts like hell and a lot of the times when I'm making content Please, please comment if you can relate to this. Say something. <laughs> a lot of the times when I'm making content and it's the really well thought, informative um, things that I put out there to, to help people save their lives, you know. Um, I don't just post stuff about beauty, makeup, whatever. Like, I don't just post stuff for reactions. The, the stuff that's really deep and meaningful to me um or if it's just informative content like i'll spend forever trying to explain things to people even if it's a beauty concept in a logical scientific way and really give people things to transform their lives and when i see like no barely any views it's okay if i didn't have any views I care about community and making discussion at least underneath all of that uh, I mean I'm sorry above all of that and underneath that video but when no one says anything I hate to say it but it kind of triggers this thing in me to, to feel like nobody I guess I guess essentially that 
the content is not worth it that what i have to say is not worth it um it's like i'm not i did it for nothing sometimes i feel like um I, and i'm not even getting monetized for it you know it's like i miss old youtube when people really the the platforms before like 2012 everybody was more engaged they liked the photos they got in the comments you know people that you knew in real life all of that but not everybody feels like they have to humble you or something or i'm not sure but i don't just experience that online it's also in real life i experience people who just they will hear me say something or put something on or be like oh man i'm about to buy this or do this and the whole time they watching all my shit my stories my my um anywhere i post they'll be watching it and i'll be like oh man this cute set i'm gonna buy it or i'm gonna do this and do that and then these people will have nothing to do with me at all entirely and then next time i see them or they post they wearing the bag i was talking about they <laughs> they're like in the you know the the specific uh clothing items that i was talking about you know and to me it just be like damn how come i see normal even like dynamics amongst women you know it's like oh girl i saw you had them earrings on your story like i had to get those like that's a normal conversation there's no like like there's no um pressure in that conversation like to, to just say that you know but i notice people never do that shit they act like they ain't see me do nothing they ain't see me make an influence make a state they and i'm not saying that they necessarily have to but when it comes to just kind of like having this discussion around community and stuff that's on social media or things that we both have the same interest in, that can spark a deeper bond. And I notice that people never want to do that shit with me. Never. And I'm so tired of feeling like that. It's not just in one area of my life, like friendships and stuff like that. But I've noticed that people don't want to um they don't want to engage with me at all is what i feel like and the reason that that is i have no idea a lot of people that i meet always get usually the same uh preference um preference pre preface preface whatever i always get the same thing i i get the the oh you're so sweet you're so nice okay and then when it comes to becoming a part of my life or when it becomes uh engaging with my posts not just saying oh girl let's follow each other like we're going to be friends and we follow each other and then you say nothing you you don't message me you don't nothing and i'm expected to do all of that and it's like I'm just tired of that. I'm I'm so tired of that. That's the friendship version of it. And this is getting kind of long. Talking about engagement. But as I'm going through this. Think about engagement online. And in real life. And uh, put it in the comments if you can. How do you get engage people in real life. And online without trying and uh, think about the difference between the two and and how you is it the same way you pull them in or is it um every time you click on the camera do you feel like you have to make this insane hook and um do all of these impressive things with the video good thumbnail good this good that and it's like it's making the content so chopped and screwed that youtube tiktok all of these things just aren't fun anymore and like 
just just think about that into relation with all that I'm saying. Um, how do you engage people at school, at work, at uh, doing pitches, doing um, romantic relationships, uh, friendships? Um, it just just in all all areas of your life. How do you feel about engagement? I feel like social media engagement reflects the engagement that I get in real time and I have no idea why. I don't judge people. I'm not a mean person. Um, I don't say negative. I don't like I don't uh, I don't believe in roasting people. That's just not something that I get. Uh, I am slightly sensitive. Um, I try to respect people, be mindful. Like, I'm the type of person, if everybody's sleeping in the house, I'm on my tippy toes, you know what I'm saying? Like, trying to keep the noise down and stuff. And I don't, I don't be getting that in return in my, in my actual life. And I'm quite happy that I don't have a lot of fakeness and fake people in my life and people who just prefer to be like monitoring spirits and watch me from afar because at least that leaves room for people to come into my life that do want to uh show me affection show me love you know show me adoration and and not be scared to or, or feeling like they have to humble me if they show me too much you know make me big-headed or something if they tell me like girl you know what that last post that hit you know um my 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 cousin may be the only person who does leave comments right now and that like that's the only thing that i have to look forward to i guess um when it comes to making some type of community in in online and it sucks because one of the reasons I started doing this was to build people, a community of people who I can relate to. And I don't know if I need to do a discord. I don't know if I need to do a clubhouse. Like, I don't know what it is. And on TikTok, I've been trying to have these longer discussions on there. Really drive people to, to think again. Like, that's another thing. People don't want to think. I was watching this one content creator um let me see if i could find it on here <clears throat> i was watching this one content creator discuss um how he goes about making his videos and um let me see if I can find the video. I don't know if I'm going to find this video. I'm going to try. Oh, I think, I think this is the name of the video. I almost, ooh, we almost didn't find that, you guys. It's called, How Making YouTube Videos That No One Watched Watches Changed My Life. I think that was the video. I'm thinking that's the video. And he really, like, he sits down and he writes and he, like, thinks about the content that he's going to put out and, and things and such and, you know he just says like i remember at the end of his video he was like just just have time to sit and think about what it is and not just like mindlessly post and all of this mind mindless posting and these you gotta make your thumbnail like this then you gotta you gotta uh put the tags in like this then you got i'm experienced i mean i'm experimenting with not even using tags right now you guys and i'll let you know how that goes but um I, I would watch that video too, you know, um, 
it's just it's it's we have to like chop and screw our content so much now the censoring the the all of these things put these big bubble letters on each word you know auto captions now and it's it's just it's mindless it doesn't really have any substance to it and i'm I'm kind of over it to be honest and now i just kind of i kind of do this thing where i call it like blind posting where like i kind of just throw out things that i want to do i want to talk about i feel at the moment and it not being so edited and pretty and you know oh my hair might be standing up this way and uh, my eyelash might be crooked oh well you know like I'm starting to just say that about things because it's not worth putting so much effort and energy into making something that does have substance and get like nothing on it not even a comment like hey yeah I, I listened to what you said and hmm I might I might take that uh, with me throughout life or something you know that's the kind of feedback I thought I would get but YouTube doesn't push anything TikTok will keep you at 300 views and it's like the person who may have needed to see it they're just giving it to people who don't even contemplate anything um <laughs> you know all they want to see is uh, I'm gonna say bits and crass, uh, you know, everywhere, jumping everywhere, or humiliation, people popping balloons on each other, uh, if, is you attractive, I give you a rate, rate these people, you know, it's like, it, it's nothing that really gives back anymore, so, um, I'm going to leave this with this, I think, and it's the last thing I'm going to talk about. Um, I don't really care how people feel about my stances on things. and um, that I mean, I like to hear, but I'm saying ultimately that, that kind of stuff doesn't really sway me um, until maybe I see something that needs to be swayed, but... Um, I'm kind of stick to my guns in that right but over the course of my 20s this engagement thing has been such an issue that now ultimately where I'm at now in life I've really just decided to not I guess try to engage back um, in the disalignment with the energy that I felt like I've been putting out so um, an example of that is um, this one person that I met um, I thought they were pretty cool and um I thought I was in the process of making a new friend and this person like it was left up to them because you know I had set the schedule then we had to cancel and then they said they were going to come back and say you know when they want to schedule and stuff and um I really like this person um a lot of things about them i like that they were real just real like they're not fake with me um and they have some of the same ambitions that i do and yeah but they're a little bit different than me in, in a way um more type a and i like that about them and we did kind of have like a setback, but after that, I thought everything would be okay. And, uh, person has not engaged with me in months. And when it comes to stuff like that, at this point in my life, 
I'm just like, you know what? Then that's better for me. <laughs> if if you withdraw for reasons that I don't know, instead of thinking about what did I do wrong, what is it about me? Um, I'm tired of being in that mindset and I just let people kind of like fizzle out, you know, and and not worry about why I think I've always wondered why because it just seems so out of nowhere um with a lot of people and I hate to say it um there's the only people that I hear talk about this same issue in life is the people who are making content about how being conventionally um, attractive or also known as pretty privileged, whatever, they only, I only hear people be able to speak about this. This is just one part of that whole experience, but people act like pretty privileged something is a great thing is actually fucking awful a lot of pretty people attractive people are alone there's a lot of humbling tactics um for a person that is attractive or or seen as attractive um it is not fucking peaches and roses like it's it's nightmare it's a nightmare is room for a lot of it leaves room for a lot of insecurities shall i say and the only people that i hear talk about the exact exper experiences that i've gone through in life are the people who click on the camera i just haven't done it yet because i want to do a whole video essay on it but the people that click on the camera and say this pretty privileged bs is is not it's not everything. Um, it's been a lot of bullying. It's been a lot of people treat you like you ain't ish. It's been a lot of no engagement. Um, it's, it's been a lot of people saying sly things to like hurt you stunt you um a, a lot of guys who think that they have to position themselves as being the most wanted in the relationship because if she start thinking that or the the more attractive person starts thinking that then i'm effed so i gotta make them like kiss my butt you know like it's 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 a lot of experiences that i've gone through and I wish I could talk about them like so candidly, but I'm gonna put a paywall on that because I do want to talk about some some things and not be censored and go live and talk to people who actually like want to talk um, and interact. Um, yeah, as far as the engagement thing though, I really don't know what to do, you guys. Um, and just like how I say, I decided to like just let it fizzle out and not really care. I think I'm going to keep doing that. Um, it's going to hurt my, my pages. It's going to hurt whatever. But maybe someday I'll have a slow growth of genuineness and people who actually like to think about the, the content and the context. And it's like I crave for um stimulating conversation and i think a lot of attractive people pretty privileged people feel that same way but a lot of the times we we also get that too that you know being attractive being pretty is not synonymous with being smart or having anything on your mind about politics and the world and 
I like getting on here and talking about beauty and makeup because well not just makeup but beauty because beauty is an important aspect of this life that we live in but um it's, it's all around you even when you go outside in nature but there's more than that too and that's why I just can't single out my content into like you know I want to talk about the 4B movement I want to talk about other things like women's uh women's centered content and um I just feel like I don't want to be too all up in that either because that could get very um make you feel very down listening to that all the time so it's just I really don't know where I'm going with any of this and YouTube is kind of becoming like at least for me I'm kind of going back to old roots YouTube where people just posted what they had what they thought in the best way that they could create and not feel like I gotta do it exactly this way and I gotta follow the blueprint this way and I have to download these web browser extensions and check my my score and my title and my thumbnail and my um my lighting and my like it takes more time than necessary just to really get out what you want to express to the world and have the algorithm say oh yeah this this is so high quality and and perfect push it out it almost never goes that way so i just wanted to do this video please talk in the comments talk in the whatever is on your mind and um see you on the next one